how early are you comfortable doing that? So if, if a member, a new member signs up AEP October 15th, right? As soon as they're fully prepared, they've done all their research, they know, hey, I want to be a member of this plan. And then like the radio silence, you know, we're, you're talking, um, you know, November 15th, December 15th, um, you know, almost three months, right? Uh, just until the effective date. Right. When, how early after October 15th, let's just call that day zero, right? Like how early are you, how comfortable are you making, how early are you comfortable making outreach to them and starting that activation process, right? Well, I mean, I, I think a lot of the activation can start at the time of enrollment. I mean, you're saying, I mean, the value-based enrollment um, gives you the opportunity. I mean, if you're able to get a health risk assessment um, right after that enrollment process, you know, if you're doing a good job, you're getting a lot of good information about those customers that should really help inform what those customer journeys should look like because all those customer journeys shouldn't look the exact same. Um, so if you're getting that information about the customer, not only are you getting them engaged with the plan, but it's also informing the plan on what that customer journey should look like. So, I, I mean, I really think um, right after that enrollment process is when you really want to start uh, engaging those customers and hopefully you know, you're uh, communicating them uh, in a way that they prefer, you know, whether that's text message calls, digitally, um, making sure you understand those communication preferences and, and, and shaping it up from there.